Yo, Ooh. check it out, check it out. It's your boy Kuli from RDB. My brother Serge is here as well. Unfortunately, Manch couldn't be here with us today because he's in Canada, so we turned up at Maestro Studio to something about Invisible Magazine, so let's go inside and see what's going on. I think we know where we are. I think it's on the first floor. <laughs> and we're in. So what, what does RDB actually stand for? Well, RDB stands for Rhythm Donor Base. Hey? Exactly. <laughs> 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 See, RDB are originally a when we came up with a name, it was like rhythm, rhythm and bass, rhythm yeah. and bass. Uh, and then we thought, hang on, we do rhythm and bass. Yeah. The only thing we add to it. That is clever though, isn't it? The only thing we add to it is still one. That's clever though. No, I'm going to buy it. You've got it written down in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, the only just, people that don't know that is people watching our webcam. Exactly. So now you know, rhythm, dawn and bass, right? RDB is basically about mixing all that kind of stuff together, mixing the Indian and the English and the British and the and the American and Canadian and all that kind of stuff, everything. Believe it. I mean, for the people that actually don't know, we have been making music in our studios in the UK as well as Toronto, Canada for over like five to ten years. For the newcomers that don't really know us. But yeah, why did you choose music at the first one? It was just one of those things that you know you just fall into. My dad was really into yeah. religious music. Yeah. Our, our, on our on our mom's side, a lot of a lot of our uh, uncles and stuff they were into uh, live band music yeah, and, and yeah. recording stuff. And we just grew up around music. Definitely. Okay. When you grow up around it, it's just second nature. Definitely. So it was just it was just something that we just kind of fell into, and then and then slowly started learning it, and learning it, and then it just we just became just. Became At first, we never thought it was a career. Though. You guys have been brave enough to do some collaboration that yeah. a lot of producers here will not think about, you know what I mean? So, uh, tell us a couple of people you've collaborated with, with in the past. Well, we started... Well, we first started, we, we, we went over to America and uh, yeah. we did a, we launched uh, an album called Bollywood, yeah. Bollywood uh, Records. Yeah. Um, and uh, on that we featured uh, Elephant Man. Yeah. You know, that was a good part yeah, of the show. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. big. He's, big, big yeah. he's uh, massive and uh, yeah. Four Eyes as well. Mm. Four Eyes yeah. from the Ludicrous Camp. Yuck Mouth. Yeah. Yuck Mouth from yeah. uh, Looney's. Now, he's how, how did it, let, let's, let's work it. I mean, the way you're rolling it up, he likes it's a simple thing just to feature <laughs> Elephant Man, you know what I mean? Elephant Man's been going off for like 30 years uh, now. Basically, what yeah. happened? Like for five or six years, we've been just busting our ass, just yeah. doing good music. You yeah, know, yeah. Just putting music out, putting albums out. Yeah. I mean, we're like 27 albums in. Wow. Like heavily, just wow. on rotation, just working. Not only just our albums, but like producing compilation, producing yeah. for other artists, yeah. establishing the artists. Yeah. And then this music just went everywhere, mm. by, you know, legal and illegally, just mm. went everywhere. Mm. And by the oh, time. We didn't leave of course, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. you know what I mean? We don't believe in the deal. Yeah. Um, and it went everywhere. And then what happened was the vibe, the vibe was so good that we got, like, our brother lives in, in, in Toronto. He yeah. got a call from a lady from New York. Yeah. And uh, she was like, listen, uh, you got RDB? And she yeah. And he's like, okay. Uh, and she's like, okay, well, we're, we're putting something together. And it's mm. called Bollywood. Mm. And it's basically featuring Indian artists yeah. with American mm. artists. Um, and and he's like, yo, this sounds perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what it is literally because of the vibe that was out there. Yeah. People respected the kind of stuff we were doing. Definitely. And that's how we got approached. <laughs> One, two, three. Yo, what's going out? This is going out to Robbie and Ed. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're also part of a rock band as well, um, a hardcore German rock band called Asian Rock. And um, Asian Rock, Asian Orange, Asian Orange, Asian Orange, Asian Rock, something else. That's another album. Asian Rock's an album that we released back yeah. in the days. But yeah, that's, another that's another story altogether. Uh, but yeah, it's called Asian Orange, and uh, that's based in Germany. And the main people in that our group there are the Indian. Turkish, German, Afghani, German, uh, oh, cover German, German, there's three of them. <laughs> Turkish, German, Afghani, and a Londoner, a Londoner, yeah, he's the drummer, yeah. So a nice, a nice uh, mixture of different materials in there. Flavors, but the, the, the Afghani guitarist, sick. But I think the whole music sick. itself is just, you know what, it's an Asian flavor, but it's just pure rock. The first, the first track is called. Speak German or speak die. Speak German or die.